Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another Wizarding World unboxing. Here I have September 2017's crate. And yeah, I'm not quite sure what this month's theme is supposed to be. Um, I guess we'll just have to check it out and see. But uh, yeah guys, so here's this month's box. As you can see, it's a bit longer, perhaps wider than some of the other boxes have been. So I'm quite curious as to what inside. Um, just because it's kind of light as well. So yeah. But as you can see, it's a bit beat up the box as it was once again crammed into my mailbox but hey I got it right so yeah we have the standard JK Rowling's Wizarding World logo up front uh, the spellbinding world of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts but other than that it's just a standard plain black and white loot crate box as usual so yeah let's get into it uh yeah as usual we're back to just the plain muggle worthy um sticker holding a box in place love that sticker pretty cool but uh, yeah, flipping it up. Aha! So already we can see the interior of this box is kind of like a trunk appearance. Yeah, really cool. Like a little antique trunk. You see like the trunk lock hinge right there. So pretty cool. Can't wait to see okay, what's inside. Okay guys, um, before I get into the items, um, even though the box is pretty beat up and I'm not planning on keeping it, I decided to go ahead and flip it over just so I can show you guys the cool design. So as I said, the box turns into kind of like this antique trunk or suitcase, however you want to call it. But I love the blue colors of the interior and just the design. And you see up top, it has a cool crest up here. So yeah, I decided to, hey, for once, just to flip the box inside out, just so to give you guys a chance to see what that looks like. So pretty cool. Okay, now as for the items, I did pop out uh, this month's um, envelope folder whatever you want to call it that gives us the rundown of the items I haven't looked at the items yet however the theme for this month is magical must-have so pretty cool it says whether you're headed back to Hogwarts for a new school year full of adventure or in need of organizing your desk at Makusa you'll need to equip yourself with some essentials only found in the wizarding world don't worry this crate has you covered hmm let's see because already I'm seeing some very interesting things First up, we have this wearable, which is this cool blue and gray Ravenclaw scarf, which I love. Oh my gosh. That's the one thing I love about the Wizarding World crate, guys. They always have such great quality items. Look at this patch on here. Isn't that cool? And the scarf, so thick, so soft. Really, really cool. Now, I have to admit, when I first signed up for Wizarding World, I was kind of signed up for Gryffindor. Um, like I said, I love, I like the Harry Potter series. I'm just not like a huge fan, so I had no real house loyalty. However, I do love Ravenclaw's blue coloring. So I kind of switched to that, which was pretty good because then I ended up taking like the Pottermore test and they gave me Ravenclaw anyway. So yeah, pretty cool with that. But um, anyway, so yeah, they sent a scarf based on whatever house you're assigned to and depending on whether you're in Gryffindor or Slytherin or um, Hufflepuff yeah that's the other one <laughs> your scarf may be a little different from mine but this one I love this blue I love the gray and like I said this is a really cool leather feeling pouch right here so yeah love the raven here too let's don't break Okay guys, and following that great scarf, we have the next in line in the enamel pin series that the box has been going with. And it is, ta-da! Here it is, modeled after Salazar Slytherin's locket. So you can see here, locket medallion. Guys, how cool is this pin? I love this. I love, you see like that S shape in the little green little, I guess those are rhinestones or whatever. Um, I just really love the design on this. How cool is this? Each each box, I mean, they've had some spectacular pins in these things. And I am typically don't, you know, I'm okay with different pins. I don't really quite use them on much of anything. But these are amazing. And I particularly love this one. How cool is that? Can you guys get a good look? I'm kind of just moving it all around because I know the way it is, it has a kind of glare to it. So, yeah, but really cool design. Love that, guys. Um, again, it just has the two prongs on the back. But, yeah, really cool design. And, as usual, it's a decent size as well. So, yeah, I love okay, that. Okay, guys, and next up, we have this Loot Crate exclusive Honeydudes Treats box. 
Now, unlike the name implies, there's no actual treats in this box. A bit sad about that. Um, well, at least non-edible treats. If you see here, there's a sticker here that says not edible. So what exactly is inside? Well, it appears that it's a box of erasers like you know school erasers in the shapes of honeydew treats now you see the sticker here it says set includes four erasers uh, a chocolate frog a sugar skull a jelly slug and a cauldron cake so how cool is that guys just from the outside of the box you can see that this is a really cool replica set love this they really paid attention to detail you see the loot crate exclusive symbol here um it is shrink wrap so i'll have to get that off so you guys can see what's inside but already i just really love the outside of this really cool wish there was edible though because <laughs> i'm not quite in school so i really don't use erasers but yeah still a pretty cool set overall but like i said let me get in just so we can get a quick peek at the erasers inside okay so i removed the plastic sort of in my own way and we have Ta-da! How cool is that? Check this out. Look at the sugar skull. Pretty scary, actually. Pretty creepy, especially around the eyes. But otherwise, cool details. I love that. You can see here just the interior of the box they have. The little design there. So that's pretty cool. Here is the cauldron cake. Oh, how cool is that? I love that. Even this little straw stirring piece here moves around quite a bit. I don't want to keep doing that because I might break it off. But, wow, how cool. Here is the slug. See the bottom here? So, yeah, rubber eraser. Kind of rubbery. And finally, we have the one shaped as the chocolate frog. So, pretty cool set guys really love this like i said love the attention to all the details here and they're all so well made even if i was in school i don't think i would want to use the erasers on there just wouldn't want to mess them up because they're just so cool really love this set so okay guys and next up we have this item from makusa or i hope i'm pronouncing that right um but it's the magical congress of united states of america office stationery set how cool is that guys you guys check that out you see it has the makusa symbol up here as well as on this notepad here um this looks to be sticky notes yep but as you can see it's in the form of like magic threat level so i think that's so cool as well as these two um paper clips but shaped with the pyramid with the eye so really cool and on the back it looks like um, a background but actually this is a file folder with the Makusa symbol in the middle like I said I'm hoping I'm pronouncing Makusa correctly yeah, that's just how I say it yeah <laughs> but um yeah guys pretty cool you see down here it just again just shows the list of the office stationery set so pretty cool definitely unexpected um love the official look to it. it looks so cool um again you imagine i can take this to work so it will be amazing but i can see myself not using it or if you want you can circle on like yeah high alert for those important things you need to do whether you're at school or whatever so yeah pretty cool set very unique i have to say that pretty unique I even like the box with the green and the gold um around it so really cool set Oh, here's on the back, just pretty plain, but um, yeah, love that. Okay, guys, and now we're on to our final item. And this item is a bit similar to one I got in the last Wizarding World crate, but I don't mind at all because we have another one of those Ollivander pens, wand pens. And this one is in the shape of Harry Potter's wand. So pretty cool. As you guys remember, I love the way that they do the box in the same way they do the actual Ollivander wand boxes so pretty cool and this as I said is another pen but in this, this one is in the shape of Harry's wand so pretty cool look at the detail I know it's a bit hard to see because it's so dark but pretty cool detail and I love how these pens like they're not cheaply made definitely have some decent weight to them it's not like cheap plastic I don't know what material this is kind of has like a metal feel to it so like I said not cheap pen at all but 
wow pretty cool to be writing with this i guess i can use it with the makusa stationery set and here is the top part so really cool guys okay guys so that's it for this month's box final thoughts well all i can say is guys as usual they did an amazing job and you guys know me as many times as i have complained against some of loot crates other boxes they always perform consistently well it seems when it comes to the wizarding world crate and all the harry potter and fantastic beast items always unique items always just just great items just quality well-made items i love this like if you fill a scarf you know exactly what i'm saying um the stationery said i always look forward to this box every month because i know they're going to surprise me in some kind of way and once again i am not disappointed so yeah pretty cool box can't wait till we get the next one yeah like I said, even if it's items that I won't quite use, like say like these erasers just because I have no use for them, they still, as replicas go, definitely, definitely just well made, really good replicas that you wouldn't mind displaying everywhere. So yeah, love this and can't wait for the next box. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you as, as amazed as I am? I mean, sure, yeah, even though we got similar, I, similar pens in um the last month's box like the wand pens i really love those so hey they can give me a whole set they like um and i would not complain so like i said let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to check out my next unboxing so yeah guys thanks for watching bye